Yeah, welcome back. It's the Yama Jack, and uh, today we got uh, Gunslinger Kiri Forest Suicidal. This is going to be a long episode. The next one's going to be a short episode. I don't have the time for two long episodes today, so we'll just have to put up with it. Um, but that's okay, I suppose. Um, first up, actually, I want to talk about... I hate this so much. Maple Story thing. I've, uh... I've decided that I want to play for somewhat seriously in Maple Story again. Um, not super seriously. I'm not going to invest like money into it yet. I'm not at that point. Um, but I've decided that I'm going to try and make actual progress and and uh, see if I can't accomplish something. Uh, and I figured I'd, I'd hop back to my my primary account. So this isn't my old main. It's it's one of them. Um, not my, like, main main, so it's not super strong. Um, but this is in reboot. Got uh, about 2 mil range, clean. And then, uh... I got uh, these infinite throwing knives, which are fun. I have a few pieces of gear that are, like, pretty sweet. Like, this one's pretty awesome. I think I have, like, another... Pretty... Yeah, I got another one over here. Like, I got, I got pretty good stuff, for the most part. Um, just not like all the way around like this is garbage this is garbage garbage this is not that good um but i'm not going to invest anything into this account or this character um i'm gonna make a new character i'm working on akana right now on the on the account um which i'll be taking up it's uh it was my old meso farmer before so it was like 150 uh, a couple of days ago, I brought it up to 203 now, I think. 202, 203, something like that. I'm going to aim for maybe 205, 206 today. Maybe 207, I don't know. I don't know how much I'm going to actually play. I don't know what time I'm going to go to bed at. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go to bed a little bit early today, so I don't think I'm going to get too much done. That's why it's only like 205, 206 maybe. Um, come on, man. Get it. Um... But it's up to uh, the Arcane River. It's a vanishing journey, so I gotta start doing the Arcane Symbol dailies. I don't mind the Arcane Symbol dailies so much, honestly. Um, to an extent, because uh, the the dailies, if you aren't aware, it's uh, at 200 you unlock. I guess I can show you. At level 200 you unlock. Oh my god, I hate this. You unlock uh, your arcane symbols, and then you get uh, another one every 10 levels up to 240 or 250 or 260 or something. I can't remember. Um, 240, I think, though. Um, so like, it opens up like another one down here as well once you hit 230, I think. 230, 235, and 240, I think is how it goes. Um, this, one's 210, this one's 200. This one is 210. This one is 220. This one's 225. This is 230, 235. 240, I think. Something, something like that. Anyway. Um, and they're very important because this arcane force, if we look at... Um, man. <laughs> that's brutal. If we look at the um, stuff here, you can see that it has a uh, little star symbol there at the top middle of that uh, pop-up thing. It says 60... Over here it says 40, um, here it should say 30. Um, what that is, is you need that much arcane force to um, to do normal damage. And then if you have 50% above that, so for 100 here, if I had 150, uh, you would do, I think you do 50% extra damage. I believe it's how it works. Um, so it's super, super important to actually, like, get, uh, progress being made on that, uh, on that front. Um, so you can, like, train more effectively, and then, like, there's bosses that are also in Arcane Force zones. Um, so you obviously want to have all of your Arcane Force so that you can get... The, the damage bonus on those bosses, right? So Because they're kind of balanced around having it. 
that's super super late game though but like it takes a long time like it takes like i don't know a year or something like that to, to max out all your arcane symbols just doing the dailies like it's it's a time consuming process so it gets tiring after a while um and each of those symbols all six of them have their own dailies that you have to do so the um the first one vanishing journey which i have unlocked on the on the kana right now is uh you get like four quests, I believe. Um, if I'm remembering right, it's either four or five. I think it's four, though. Uh, you get four quests to go and, like, kill a bunch of stuff or loot a bunch of stuff from some of the mobs, just randomly generated um, from the, uh, the mobs in the area. And uh, you complete them, and you get one symbol per each of those quests, and then you get, like, a bonus batch of symbols for completing all of the quests in a day. Doesn't take that long. Um, takes maybe like I don't know, 15, 20 minutes on uh, on Akana to, to finish them all. If you're one shotting, I'm not. But at the same time, I, I have to like kill stuff to train anyway. So it's like whatever, dude. Like if I have to, <laughs> if I if I have to just kind of like suffer for a bit, then it's not that big a deal. Um, end of the day, you know. So I don't really mind. Um, but it does get it does get a little bit tiring uh, after like a few days. Like if you do it for like a a few weeks, you're gonna be like, I just want to like do what I want to do instead of being forced to go and kill this this stuff. Because like two weeks from now, I'm expecting to be like I don't know, hoping to be like 220ish, 220s sort of thing. Um, I'm hoping. We'll we'll see. Uh, and then, like, going back to Vanishing Journey and, and killing those mobs, like, it's just the, the XP that I get from them. It's, it's going to be, like, a huge penalty because I'm way overleveled, and, um, you know, and then on top of that, they won't even give as much XP to start with, so, like, it's it's a penalty, and then also just, like, less. So it's just, like, kind of gets to be a little bit tedious, but right now, since I'm at the level of the zone, and I need to be grinding there anyway, it's kind of like, whatever, dude, like, it just kind of picks where I'm at for a little bit, you know? No big deal. Um, and then uh, the uh, the future dailies do get a little bit more annoying at times too. Like uh, the next one is uh, Hungry Hungry Muto, which uh, you have to like go into this little like instanced area and uh, like run around killing mobs to get uh, food to put together like the right sandwiches with the right combination of food from the the mobs to, to feed the thing and it like gives you a pop-up every time to be like I want a sandwich that has this thing on it and then you make that sandwich and you know keep on repeating and it takes I don't know like 10 to 20 minutes or something like that like, it's not like it takes that much longer per se it's just a, a more out of the way kind of thing. You don't really get like anything other than the symbols out of it. It's just it's just tedium. Um so kinda stinks, but you know, it is what it is. That's what the name of the game is. It's uh it's fun to see the progress being made anyway. Um and I can take my time with the dailies. And then also the other thing is that events give you symbols as well, so you can you can get the symbols from events rather than uh, doing the dailies. It's going to take you a lot longer that way, but if you don't really care for progress too much on that front, it's not the end of the world. And it's it's a nice supplement to kind of like feel less bad about missing days when you're doing the dailies, because it's a lot of work doing all the dailies. It really is. Um, but... I think it's uh, you know at the, at the at the at the end of the day it's worth it, so because I I want to do it <laughs> you know what I mean like I'm I'm having I'm having it's it's not necessarily fun doing the dailies but uh, it it is kind of fun doing the dailies if you have like friends and like guild members and stuff that you get to go and do them with and and kind of just uh, have a bit of fun and and uh, play together for a bit it gives you it gives you a good excuse because these are things where. You know, Maple Story is largely a solo game. You don't really like party together and and uh, like farm stuff. 
you used to back in the day you, you used to like uh, do it all the time you know you'd, you'd get a party together with a couple of members and you know, maybe have like a, a bishop or something in the party to, to keep people alive and um, you have like a mobber to, to kill everything and then uh, maybe like a, a scout or something to go and lure all the mobs over um, some some kind of a assassin hermit or whatever um, shadower maybe Shadowers, I think, typically play by themselves, but everybody wanted a bishop because he got the, the XP bonus for having him because they got that uh, holy symbol buff. Anyway, um, these days you don't really do that. You don't really there, there's there's no incentive to to party together while you're training. Even if you're killing stuff slower, you're getting more XP by not being in a party with somebody unless they are like way stronger than you and uh, they're willing to just like leech you you know because they're gonna be penalized for it and you're gonna get like a bunch of extra XP out of it because um, they're killing stuff and then you're taking some of their XP um, so if they're willing to do that then you know sure you're gonna benefit from that but uh, there's no like mutual beneficial kind of thing it's it's uh, it's it's parasitical in nature um, you're, you're a parasite, basically, uh, which is fine, you know. Back when I uh, back when I used to play, and uh, the guild was active. I'm in I'm in the pause guild, um, which is uh, all well, the guild I played in when I used to play. I'm not gonna leave it. I got a lot of good memories in that guild. Um, back when I used to play, some of the members would be, like, leveling mules or whatever, and they'd need the, the, like, 190 to 200, and I'd be like, sure, you know, grab an MVP buff, put on some, some 2x coupons, and, uh, and I'll, I'll leech you up to, to 20 to, to 200, you know, like, it's, it's not that big a deal, like, it takes maybe an hour of time, and we get to play together, get to have some fun, and then, you know, subsequently, they'd, uh, they'd do the same for me on occasion, and, uh... We got to kind of benefit ourselves in that uh, in that sense, you know, which was fine. Um, but yeah, it's not really you don't really play with other people. So when you when you get to do those dailies, and it kind of gives you an incentive to I'm feeling generous. to get into a group and and do your your vanishing journey dailies, or your your uh, your hungry hungry muto, or your um, I can't remember other ones that you'd actually want to party for. But, uh, you know, when, when you're in a party and, and you get to do that, that's always a good thing, in my opinion. When you, when you get to have that incentive, when you get to have a reason to want to be playing with other people, that's always good, as long as you have other people to play with, which I don't currently. I don't have any friends in the game. They've all quit. I don't have any uh, guild members. They've all also quit. The guild kind of, like, disbanded. and it didn't really disband. It's still there, obviously. Um, but... It, uh, it's gone now. People people left. We, we decided that uh, the guild wasn't worth continuing anymore. I was I was one of the... Uh, I was like admin staff, sort of, in the guild. Um, I wasn't... You know, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of crazy thinking about this kind of stuff, though, right? Because, like, you got guilds in, in, like, any game, right? Like, you got uh, clans, guilds, um, whatever, right? And, uh, you know, you think it's a, it's a game, right? And it is a game, but as, like, a, a leader in, uh, in a group of, like, you know, 100, 150 maybe people who are, like, active and participating and, you know, getting into arguments and having discussions and stuff like that, like, you have to be, keep an eye out for drama, you have to be, like, watching for um you know things that other people may not be enjoying you have to like set rules discuss like you know plans and like there, there's actual like organization like there, there, there's structure behind uh, a maple story guild that's uh, that's quite large we weren't um like a super big guild but we were Pe people knew about us you know we, but we weren't a super big guild. Um, most most of our members were like under 200. Um, 
most of our uh, most of our uh, members hadn't done like the hard bosses you know Lotus and, and Damien even were like mostly not a thing in our guild um, but we had a few members who were uh, reasonably prominent in the uh, in the maple world um, so we uh, we as a guild had some sort of you know renown typically as a guild of, uh, of hackers really um, a lot of our members especially our admins uh, myself included have been banned before at some point and when you get banned you're taken off the rankings of, uh, of maple story even if it was like determined to be wrongfully banned like oftentimes you'll you'll still be uh, off and then oftentimes like if it is wrongfully banned you won't actually get unbanned until the time is up anyway and then like it's just you, you end up not being on the rankings um, and that was true for a lot of our members again myself included um, I've been banned before on that account I uh, I was doing a little bit of uh, I was at my computer but my setup was just like very unusual <laughs> super super unusual um, and it ended up triggering a ban because um, I, I wasn't able to actually like see my screen because the screen was like off kind of but not really but kind of um, so I wasn't able to see it but I was still able to like hold down the button <laughs> to, to continue killing stuff and I was like whatever like this is fine I'm just gonna watch this show and just kind of come back in a bit and fix the, the screen that's died um, then when it came back I was banned and I'm like ah crap um, so that was fun but uh, that got me banned and then uh, you know some other people have been banned for uh, similar offenses key waiting and and, uh, and whatnot um, you know, we, we were very harsh on uh, on people that we found to be botting or, or hacking or anything like that. Like, if you weren't, like, if you, if you were shown botting or if people were, like, you know, messaging us being like, hey, we think that this person's bot, like, it was, you know, no, get out. <laughs> you're not, you're not allowed, you know, like, it's very much so not a, a botting place, but, um, you know, because a lot of our, our, uh, our, our uh, admin staff were off the rankings we uh, we had a, a little bit of a we, we had a, a little bit of infamy from uh, from that at times which was fun but and it will probably happen again if uh, I'm, I'm thinking I might revive the guild to a certain extent I'm not sure um, I'm gonna have to see if people are okay with that I'm not currently the the guild leader um, but I, I could get the guild leader it's not hard um, uh, the, the person who, uh, so I, I was guild leader, but I was, like, we, we were quitting, right? Like, everybody was leaving. So I was like, whatever, like, you know, the, the guild master before wanted to leave. And I was like, I'm just gonna quit Maple Story for now. So, uh, you know, pass the leadership over to me. Um, if ever you need it back, just, like, tell me and I'll just log on and give it to you. Um, but then Nexon released an update to where you could, uh, take the guild, mem like, master role from the, the master if they were inactive. And since I was inactive, somebody else took the role. Um, but they, uh, they, they, they said they're willing to give it back to me if, if I want it back, so. And, uh, I think that they're currently inactive as well, so I could just go take it back, I think. I can, we can check, actually. We can check. Uh, members. Rank. Calvino. Seven or more days. So I'm pretty sure we could just go take it back. Um, think we can try? I think I think we can. Is it? Uh, is there like a guild thing here? How do we get to the guild place? Oh, is this? Is this stuck? Do I have like up stuck right now? No. I thought I did. It felt, it felt like I did. Uh, probably in Henesis. I don't remember, I don't remember how to get to the, the stupid guild place. Who 
is it? How do I do it? You. Let's go in here. Um, I want to change the guild leader. Absent for over a month. Okay. So, you know, uh, I think that they are AFK for exactly weeks. I think yesterday it was six days, so now it's seven days or more. So I'm pretty sure it's been exactly seven days. So, um, yeah, I, I, I can just uh, reclaim it when they're inactive for a little bit longer, if they're going to be. Uh, or ask them to just give it to me. Uh, if people are okay with uh, sort of redoing the guild and, and getting people active in it again. Not necessarily the same people, because a lot of those people are gone. <laughs> a lot of people quit. That's kind of the whole reason that uh, the guild died in the first place. Um, but... Uh, We, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It'd be nice to, to have people to play with, though. It'd be nice to have people to play with. For sure. Because uh, that's, that's, like, the main thing for me, personally. Is just, um... The lack of... Like, people to talk to in the game. I just want more people to talk to. You know? Yeah, the other thing is, is if I'm gonna get it, like, going again, and I get, like, juniors or whatever who are, like, new, then they're gonna remove the inactive people who I'm like, no, these are my dear friends. They cannot be removed from my guild. So I'm like, I don't know. Is it worth it? <laughs> no, I don't know. I'd like, to, I'd like to have more people to talk to. I don't, I, like, I don't want to leave the guild and join a different guild. I don't want to, like, invite you know, conflict into the, uh, into the guild that I'm already in, like, with internal conflict, mostly, with me, <laughs> having, uh, people come in and, like, remove all those inactive people, like, you saw it, they're all, like, inactive for seven days or more, like, everybody's quit, you know, and, uh, if this were an active guild that were being maintained, then it would be, like, highly, wow, really? It would be highly, like, remove them territory? and like replace them with other people so that we have the the, the, the space for for more people because you can only have up to like 200 uh, members in uh, in a guild at a time I think or something like that it's not very many anyway so and I don't want I don't want to remove them because they're all uh, they're all my dear friends from the past when I uh, when I used to play But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. I haven't really made any firm decisions on it. I've been trying to get my Kana into a different guild. Um, see if there's uh, this guild that accepts Kana alts. There are a few guilds, but they're not accepting me right now. I guess, I don't know if they're just not getting the requests, or if they're just like AFK, or if they're denying me or whatever. Like, I just I haven't gotten anything back. So, I don't know what's going on with that, but I just want people to play with, you know? I want people to to interact with and and have a good time and, and kind of progress together and have fun and you know all that kind of stuff it's all it's all it's all you know it's it's a it's a mostly solo game um you don't really play with other people but uh it is still an mmo you know you do, do still want friends and you do still want to have uh, other people to kind of you know progress with and uh for for bossing in particular um I'm going to be doing uh, solo progression up until, like, Lomian. But then after that, it's, it's not really viable to, to continue doing solo progression. So, um, past that, I'm going to have to, uh, find parties and stuff to do, like, Lucid and Will and, you know, maybe Black Mage eventually. I don't know. Be nice to get into that kind of stuff eventually. That's like years away, though, is the thing. That's years away. <laughs> like actual, literal years away. But, uh, the heck? Y'all see that? It went, Badanka? Very strange, very strange. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today, so thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.